Where is Gong Jun's stamina? The new drama I'm going against the wind starring Gong Jun and Shang Chuxi was a silent success. The ratings for the first broadcast were only 0.33%, and then continued to decline. The popularity of Ikenai was only a little over 6,000. After nine days of airing, its ranking has slipped to seventh place on Mayo Ian's overall popularity list. For a show starring a top-notch cast, this performance is truly astonishing. The play is positioned as a realistic business war drama. Although it is in the name of realism, the most common complaint from the audience in the short review area was exaggeration. They thought that the setting of the play was exaggerated and the actors' performances were exaggerated. Among the actors, Guang Jun's performance was the most criticized. On the one hand, his acting skills were completely beaten when he played against veteran actors such as Zhang Cheng Guang, Wen Zhang Guang, Gao Xu Guang, and Liu Piki. On the other hand, in the eight years since his debut, his acting skills have not improved for decades, and his lines, body shape, etc. Comma the performance is full of shortcomings. He also plays the role of an investment banker elite, but his performance in the pretender apocalypse is far different from that of Han Dongjin. He can't support the character's shrewd temperament at all. Although he wears a suit, Guang Jun's occasional stoop posture directly reduces the credibility of the character, as if he is wearing someone else's clothes. Not only that, but his weak basic line skills also directly lowered the perception of the show. For example, in the first episode, when he was discussing cooperation with others, he seemed to be dancing and expressing emotions, but in fact, his speech was unclear, as if he was memorizing a text, and he did not show the confident temperament of knowing the character well. In addition, his commonly used glaring acting skills are also very entertaining. For example, when facing the heroine, he likes to tease the heroine by glaring. Not only does this act have no sense of elitism, it even seems to be a bit of a hooligan deja vu. In terms of his ability to interpret the role, Guang Jun was almost completely crushed by his partner Zhang Chuxi. Since the order of mountains and rivers became popular, Guang Jun's traffic has soared, but his acting skills have stagnated. Since then, he has never played an impressive role. So far, when people mention him, the one who impresses the most is Wen Kexing, the great good man. Zero one. If you change the lucky guy, your popularity will come and go quickly. Maybe Gong Jun's appearance is really good. In the current era of ugly men from ancient times everywhere, his appearance can make people dream back to the era of four beauties from the end of the world. His appearance is in line with the traditional aesthetics of a martial arts boy, characterized by his splayed facial features, sharp edges, and sword-shaped eyebrows. His tall nose is his plus point. The bridge of his nose is high but not obtrusive. Although his eyes are not the typical peach blossom eyes, they are very attractive. Moreover, his hands are also very beautiful, with well-defined joints, fair skin and slenderness. When viewed up close, it is almost a benefit of hand control. The overall look is like a carved martial arts character from a novel. But you can't go far in the entertainment industry with just a face. Gong Jun's acting career also proves this point. As the last lucky guy to reap the bonus of the delayed guy drama, his popularity comes and goes quickly. So what caused his decline in popularity? The first reason is that his traffic and resources did not match, and he missed the best opportunity to increase traffic for himself. The Legend of Antley, which aired this summer, was his first effective broadcast after becoming popular, partnering with 90-year-old Delia Reba. Before that, he had wasted nearly two years in vain. After becoming popular with the Order of Mountains and Rivers, many of the backlog dramas he starred in were released at the right opportunity, Fingertip Boy with Chen Yao, dubbing 6.7, Hello, Flame Blue with Zhang Huan, dubbing 5.1, and You Just Shine with Wang Zixian, dubbing 4.4. These three dramas are all backlog dramas that started filming in 2017. They have been delayed in airing due to policy review, too high sellers, and poor quality. It wasn't until the actor rose to prominence that these works benefited from the success and were released. Since they were films Gong Jun took before he became famous, they were not of sufficient magnitude and varied in quality. For example, Fire Blue was originally rated B when it was filmed, but was rated S when it was broadcast. It was matched with large-scale publicity, but the result was very unsatisfactory. Their broadcast caused great harm to the actors. It is easy to leave such an impression on the audience, why does Gong Jun, an actor, always act in bad dramas? Gong Jun is a bit similar to Li Xian. They all failed to plan well after they became popular, 
and suffered losses due to their capital pursuit of profits, resulting in serious interruptions in their works and signs of decline. However, compared to Li Xian, Guang Jun's own problems cannot be underestimated, his acting skills cannot carry the traffic. His expressions are out of control and his performance is superficial, which have always been his acting shortcomings. He almost never misses the performance problems that are common among traffic florets and niche students. Sometimes he pouts and stares, sometimes he transforms into a humanoid AI and speaks lines as if he is reciting a text. Since becoming famous, Guang Jun has left famous scenes in many dramas. In the order of mountains and rivers, in the scene before Axiang's death, he used too much force and his face was distorted. Netizens complained that crying is too ugly and has no sense of beauty. In Hello, Flame Blue, he memorized the lines with a frown on his face, his tone was urgent, but his mouth couldn't keep up, and he acted out the serious scenes with a sense of humor. In A New Just Shine, he acted ugly and weird, pretending to be mentally retarded, rolling his eyes and twitching at the same time, his acting was exaggerated, and every frame he took was an emoticon. In this way, over time, Guang Jun's popularity has declined visibly. Compared with his performance in the play, the happy wagerner image he highlighted in interviews and variety shows is actually more vivid, far less dull than when he performed. 02. Embarrassing people in the entertainment industry. Compared with other male traffickers, Guang Jun's biggest problem is that he lacks reasonable planning. His acting route is very simple, he is either an ancient puppet or a current idol. He occasionally acts cute in variety shows and always stays in his comfort zone. He has no ambition to transform and improve his acting skills. His current state, to put it bluntly, can only be described in two words, consumption. Consume your own aura, consume your own popularity, and occasionally produce a tepid or splashy work, barely maintaining your exposure in discussion. And male traffic who can truly establish themselves in domestic entertainment often have clear plans and development directions. Zhu Yilin, Bai Yu, Wang Yibo, and Ziozan are now either transforming or broadening their acting career, and they already have greater room for development. As early as last year, Zhu Yilin won the Golden Rooster Award for Best Actor for his role as Mo San Wei in Life Events. This year, She Disappeared starring him took in another 3.525 billion box office in the summer season. It can be said that it requires acting skills in box office. Although Bai Yu has not turned to the big screen, He has starred in film and television works with stable output in various types, including the suspense drama The Silent Truth, the family drama Children of the Kiao Family, and the costume spy drama The Wind Rises in Longxi, including the medical drama Thank You Doctor and the adventure drama Westward from the Jade Gate. On the other hand, the same is true for Wang Yibo and Xiao Zan. Wang Yibo turned to the big screen, working with young and promising directors such as Ching'er and Dapin, and working with powerful movie stars such as Tony Loon. Wang Bo, Hu Jun, and Zhou Duanggayu. In a short time, he promoted himself to a movie star. Although the screen will magnify his performance shortcomings of dull expression, as long as the character is outstanding and the director has good training, it will definitely create a stronger voice for him. For example, his scene opposite Tony Loon Chuai in Anong created a huge topic and attracted countless attention. On the other hand, Zio Zan also played steadily, constantly testing the waters in military dramas. Ace Troop, and period dramas, The Sea and the Dream, and even caught up with the sister dog trend and talked with Bai Bay for several years. Falling in love, the sun accompanies me. The transformation methods for beautiful male traffic may not be very rich, and the transformation path may not be so bumpy or difficult. There are only a few ways to transform, either cooperate with big directors and switch to the big screen, or cooperate with young directors with ideas to consolidate traffic or make genre dramas to broaden the audience. In the final analysis, the most important issue is how determined the idol is to transform and how argent it is to transform. But as a rising star, Guang Jun was far behind his predecessors in this regard. Some netizens teased him as Jia Zing's adopted son-in-law and laughed at him for partnering with Dilraba in The Legend of Anli and then partnering with Yang Mi and Fox Fairy Matchmaker, Moon Red, to be aired. It is worth noting that both I'm Going Against the Wind and Fox Demon Matchmaker, Moon Red Chapter are produced by Shanghai Star Gravity Film and Television Media Company, Limited, produced by Wang Yixu, representative work Kang Lanju, and Gong Jun Wang Yixu has a very good personal relationship, and has a deep bonding relationship with both public and private parties. This deep binding also affected Gong Jun's script selection to a certain extent, making him more comfortable with the status quo. 
Even though Gongjun is currently supported by fans and traffic, this situation of resting on his laurels and resting on his laurels is by no means a long-term solution. At present, Gongjun's position in domestic entertainment is very embarrassing. On the one hand, he has little ambition and has never challenged important roles. He is not recognized by authoritative people and is too far away from the mainstream film and television industry. On the other hand, his existing resources are too solid and he may not even be able to gain a solid following. If we do this, we can even talk about breakthroughs and transformation. Although he graduated from the acting department of Donghu University, Guangzhou seems to be more suitable for his old profession, modeling. Because all you have to do is show off. Back then, when the order of mountains and rivers came out of the entertainment industry, it was the time when talent shows were at their peak. Tomorrow's Sun and Youth with You were aired in succession, and countless newcomers were introduced. However, these fresh faces cannot match the momentum of Gong Jun alone. Now, looking back after nearly three years, Gong Jun's situation is somewhat similar to that of idols who came from the talent show. Although he has countless fans, he is struggling, unable to break into the mainstream, not recognized, and unable to support himself. Role. Without the blessing of strength, their acting journey is destined to end in sight. Once the traffic subsides, they will inevitably be the first to be stranded. Everything is just a matter of time.